Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I had this great idea while I was having a call with my, one of my clients and I decided to walk you through my design brief template for my clients, at least the one from 2023, but the one in 2024 I will update for sure and also some uh, paperwork and documents that I also use uh, during my process. So I thought that maybe it would be useful for uh, future business owners that want to uh, collaborate with me to have some clear uh, perspective of uh, how it works and how I work with other uh, clients and also for beginner designers to see where they can start and how they can create their own system and what applies to their own business. So let's get started. So this is my design brief template. I created it in Notion a long time ago. And here in the title you can see template problem, which means the problem statement that we are tackling. I here include the company name, the main contact. Sometimes I'm contacted from someone in the team. Then later on I'm having a contact with someone who is uh, responsible for the, the whole process or making uh, bigger decisions. Here I also like to include the premise for design redesign. For example, is it a new company that needs um, online presence being with through the website or is it an existing ex established company that just needs some refresh? Basically to see where they are in the market. Here in the details, most of the time I ask about the deadline because that's very important to me when it comes to design. So also the number of pages when it comes to uh, web development and this template specifically it's tailored I believe to web development project mostly that's why I need to update it and make a couple of versions more here also the budget sometimes uh, clients come with a specific budget they want to spend on design and then if we have an agreement and, and a range I include the budget as well here here also the platforms for the web development which platform they would like to use are they using any already or sometimes there is a custom solution and I also add it here I can leave them open so you can check them out later on here in the business objectives or goals drop down I include a couple of objectives that I hear throughout our discovery call something that they maybe mention a couple of times maybe some kind of KPIs anything that I find important and goal oriented when I have the discovery calls most of the time like maybe 80% of the time I'm actively listening to my client and trying to figure out what they really mean and what they actually say here I also put some notes from the discovery call about the feel and look that they want to achieve throughout this redesign or design project and I also have a couple of notes here about maybe some competitors and maybe some other um, impressions that they have from previous or current designs that they want to bring onto their own. The highlights from the discovery call are something as I said probably the either the business objective or something they really really um, kind of emphasize on and they really want to achieve throughout this design project and I make sure that I remember that so I can follow it as my um, north star during the project. In the design requirements sometimes uh, my clients come with clear requirements descriptive ones and they have um, for example a style guide they want to follow or maybe some kind of assets that they want to use and then we have to work around all these requirements to create something new. Depending on what is the context of the discovery call, maybe we need to also brainstorm potential solutions or figure out how to bring another team member or maybe do a bit of research on a certain topic and then get back on a call again and decide if we're a good fit or not. Potential roadblocks, anything that might prevent our design process of going smoothly, I would include here and probably make some kind of um, note of it so I don't forget to check on it during the design process. My favorite part, the competitors, and probably in my new template I will put it a little bit further up. Here I always ask about the direct competitors, the indirect competitors, 
and probably competitors that are doing something similar but not quite the same. This information is quite uh, important and valuable so whenever I see any market research or any kind of analytics that my clients provide me with I'm quite happy to uh, get a starting point from there and start brainstorming different ideas and solutions from then forward. For the resources, sometimes I'm provided with uh, resources and also assets that I have to pay attention to or make sure I don't forget about them or include them in during the design process. Now, after this line that you see here, usually it's um, much brighter the contrast because I used the dark theme on the Notion app, but now I'm showing you in the browser. This line means that project has started and the first payment is done. And here I include all the initial impressions and insights that I gather from the UX UI review that they usually do on the current state of the mobile app or the website. In terms of struggles, I try to pinpoint what difficulties my client has in terms of organization of the project. Maybe they don't have a copywriter or they don't have any ideas what the design might look like or maybe they don't have even a vision about the imagery. Anything that frustrates my client has to be included here. Again, the order of the drop-downs maybe could be better so I really have to revise this template. Here I include comments from my clients, uh, let's say in the beginning, during and after, what are their impressions, maybe also use this information later on to tailor some kind of testimonial that they may approve in the end and I can publish to my website. Here in the user needs, I try to put the top priority for uh, the users. Then we have the start date and end date. Here is something for me, which is like my internal uh, documentation of the process. That like I do this before I start anything in terms of design and redesign from the front end, from the back end, video walkthrough as well if it's needed, any kind of education, consultation and whatnot. I make sure I do this housekeeping uh, before I start with the project. And here is my Kanban board or the to-do list basically. Here I put what I need to do like in terms of this week or maybe throughout the whole project until I don't forget. And then what is in progress and what is actually completed in the end. Very important thing is that I have a date log for the tasks and if the platform that I'm using, for example, um, Fiverr or Upwork doesn't have it, I use the chat usually from there I can see the date and time and what I have done because I always like to give feedback to my clients where I am in the process. Even though when we communicate via WhatsApp messages, emails or video calls, I try to update them with my progress via some kind of text. So I include the date, what kind of changes I have made or what, have, what kind of work I have done during this one week or few days. And then also if it's on an hourly basis, I also include the time that I have spent on certain tasks. And if it's not time bound, then just what I have done throughout this first milestone, aka one week. This here is a review from uh, one of my previous clients and I use it as an example for a template. I'm not sure if I actually um, have used it before, but I may update it again. Now for the design handoff checklist, I think this one it's and for another video because it's very detailed and too much and I think I don't want to overwhelm you in one video with so much information. And for the end, something I like to do and try to implement in the future is not only asking for testimonials, maybe in the future even video testimonials, I also try to ask for explicit permission for a case study implementation into my portfolio. So this is kind of the email that I usually send. And again, this is an old template and it might need some refinement. But if you are uh, curious and you want to have it, let me know in the comments below and I will create a downloadable version of it. So if you have any questions or you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for supporting my uh, channel so far and see you in the next one. Bye!